I'm in the front row with my two tickets. I'll be I'm in the front row with the best place to be. I'm in the front row. The best place to be. Oh! What's going on, Dad? Yeah, uh, we back. I'm here. We're another, another, man. Another good week of sports. Let me tell you. But uh-huh. we took a week off. We did. I, and you know what? To be honest, I think it was kind of accidental. My dad was going crazy, and I was like, "Oh crap!" I was like, "We didn't do the podcast today." <laughs> so, but uh, we here this week. We got some fire for y'all, dude. Okay, like you got March Madness getting ready to go, and I, I and I know you're. That's you all. That's oh, all you right there. And I'm just, I'm, that is me. You know that I'm hyped. These conference tournaments are going on right now. Yeah. It looks like UCLA won today. They pulled it out. It looks like they're probably going to make it into the big tournament. So I'm kind of excited about that. I'm already probably not going to go to work the next Friday, so oh, Thursday, Friday snap. next week. I always That's a tradition of mine. Uh, take those two days off, first two days of the tournament, and just have all the games on. I might go to a bar this year and just have every single game on. And it's always more exciting when the team you root for is in the tournament, too. So the fact that UCLA looks like they're going to be in it, I'm kind of excited about that. But, yeah, there's some good games, and it looks like UCLA is going to make it. Who's either. the favorite Duke again, right? Right now, honestly, no, not really. Duke, it's up in the air. This is a year where there's not really any dominant teams where you could just look at this team and say, that Is that kid Grayson Allen going to get? They drafted? say he's going to get drafted probably, but I don't know. He's not going to be a lottery late, right? pick. Maybe late first, maybe early second. He's not going to be a lottery pick. I don't even think I, I don't think he's going to be. I don't think he's. Yeah, maybe possibly. I don't think he's going to be special. He's not going to be anything. I don't think he'll ever be any, anything. But he's crazy, though. He has he a little might, dog in him. Well, I don't know. Like that dog or whatever the little antics he's doing, that's not going to fly with these NBA players. You try, to trip, you try to trip on these NBA players, after, especially after they know how you were in college. Oh, yeah. If you try that now, for you. one of these dudes is going to attach your chin up real quick. They yeah. don't care. They're going to knock you out. They're going to try to. They make too much money to uh, care about a uh, 50000 A little fun. Exactly. Yeah. So if missing two games, cool. Go ahead and trip me, Grayson Allen. You're going to find out real quick. <laughs> this ain't NCAA in college where the players are scared. They might get kicked out of school or something for yeah. fighting you. Oh, the yeah. NBA players don't can grow me. You trip me, we might have a problem. Yep. Uh, all right, well, before we get into the NBA, let me just clear the air real quick uh, on some quick note on boxing. Oh. Canelo Alvarez took another test today, passed it. He passed his test. No clenbuterol in the system, which is what he tested positive for in Mexico. Iffy. With trace amounts, meaning Iffy. very minimal levels Iffy. that is correlates with a contaminated... Piece my thing is of this. meat. My thing and is this. Buterol's all over meat in Mexico. My thing is this. We talked about this. Uh-huh. I don't. I don't think he cheated, but I'm saying still, if you know the meat is tainted, why even risk it? This is the biggest fight of your life. Why even well, risk it? What? What if Canelo's? You know, because he has his big entourage. And you in even said it. He has his own farm, right? Yeah, yeah. He has plenty of money to get the meat wherever he wants. I mean, Chepo, the the older of his trainers. Uh huh. He used to be a butcher. So it's like he knows meat, especially meat in Mexico. So yeah, I mean there's 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 two sides to it. I, I tend to lean that Canelo did it by accident, but I mean, you gotta be smarter than that. Uh-huh. Like even in the NFL when they played out there uh recently, I think, uh they put out a a warning letter to the players, like there is clambuterol in the in the meat out there, do avoid this and avoid that. Because it will go against you if you fail uh-huh. this test. You will get suspended or fined or whatever the uh-huh. penalty is. So NFL players know, like, Canelo, you grew up, you were born and raised in Mexico, bro. You should know that. So there's, but there's, because his levels are so small, that's why they're like, okay, yeah, probably did come from the meat. But also some people think like, well, what if this dude was just cycling off? What if he was just finishing the cycle and he didn't think that he'd have any left in his system and boom, little... A small amount left in there. Or what if he knew that that was that could be an excuse? Like I could use this little drug because we could use the meat excuse. That could be our that could be in our back pocket. Yeah, and clenbuterol is good for helping you cut weight. Um, which is notoriously known for what Canelo needs to do all the yeah, time. Yeah, Canelo always struggles with that. Exactly, he's and, known for needing to cut weight all the time. And it also helps with their stamina and endurance. Yeah. And what has he been known fight, for too? He struggles exactly. With stamina That's what endurance. I'm saying. So, so yeah, I mean it's a little fishy, but I mean I, I'm. I'm not trying I'm willing to, to give him the benefit of the doubt right? at this point because he's not known to be a cheater. We haven't. I don't think. Well, I've that, ever see, heard and anything. that kind of that that might that kind of scared me too, though, because it sets up the narrative for the fight. So if he comes out and he wins this fight They're over Triple G, so he's like, "Well, dude, you tested positive." Like Triple that, G's already unfair. said something. Like something needs to happen. That's, he yeah. needs to be punished or something. Yeah. He's already talking. So if, if he wins on the cards, 
Triple G's gonna be like, well, dude, the dude cheated. He was awesome. <laughs> I give me another fight. Let's get this again. <laughs> and then here we go. Boom, part three. I don't think either one of them will mind a part three, though, because that means it probably means a lot more money again. I mean, another pay per view, another big spectacle, a lot of promotion. I don't think they would take a fight three. I, honestly, that's probably, if this is a close fight again, there probably will be another fight. Who else is either one of them going to fight? There's not really any big fights that want to fight either one of them. Well, I mean, you got Danny Jacob, who's... He, but is he going to... A lot of these guys be dodging... I, I, I know Jacob wants Triple G again. I, I think he's crazy. He thinks he won that first fight. I, I thought he <laughs> fought a good fight, but I, I, I totally thought... If Triple they fight G again, won. Triple G's going to knock him out this time, I think. I, I think don't know. I, I think... Again. I think Triple G's power is really, really good. I think it's a little overrated. But, I mean, because all of a sudden, now he can't knock out the elite fighters, but you never expected for him to go in there and just butcher elite fighters because no one does that. Uh-huh. So, um, but I don't know. There's, there's a couple guys. You got Charlo in there, Jamal Charlo. And so we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Speaking of boxing, before we leave boxing, oh, I know it was an exciting heavyweight fight over the weekend. Don't, um, yeah, Deontay Wilder, Wilder Luis Ortiz. Ortiz. Woo-wee. Uh, First of all, Deontay Wilder on. needs to get a new promoter. He made $2 million bucks this weekend as the A. Jo- Anthony Joshua was fighting at the end of this month on March 31st. Against uh, Parker and Parker's another top heavyweight. Joshua's getting guaranteed fifteen million dollars, and Parker, the B side, getting eight million bucks. He's getting paid four times the amount of Deontay Wilder, who fought on his, in, in in the United States at the at the Barclays Center, uh-huh. sold out, and and they man, said well, that the fight really did a lot out. of views too. Yeah, I did a couple uh, bill, bill uh, or whatever. I forgot it was like high, it was really high rated. So and then you're in New York, so you get taxed all yeah. that damn money. I think I was thinking about that too. I said that's the reason why he keeps trying to call out Joshua because he needs that money. He ain't really had a big payday. And he's thirty one already, thirty two. Yeah, he hasn't so had a big like payday. Clock's ticking on his boxing career. So yeah. I would, I would, I know if Joshua handles his business at the end of the month, then I think that it's inevitable. A lot of people are saying, "Why? Why does Joshua have to rush it? He's <laughs> selling out 80,000 seat arenas, getting ten figure paydays." Because it doesn't or look good, payday, because the I mean. fans want to see it. We know that you can't keep beating these guys that we know you're going to beat. We want you to fight this other guy who's a top guy. I think he's going to get pressured into it. He can't take, if he after this fight he has, he can't take another there's, fight. There's, Teddy Atlas said the other day he thinks it'll last two two more years. That's Who? Teddy Atlas said. Before they fight each other? Fight. I don't think that's good, though, he's but like, that's, not good. that's not good for... Wilder though, Wilder, like you said, Wilder's getting going to get older. Well, yeah, and and they're, and they're really they're really running out of guys. For, for exactly, the, especially the the top contenders in the heavyweight. Exactly, I mean, there's really only four, and Deontay just beat one in Ortiz, and Joshua's fighting the other top guy. So, uh-huh. and the Klitschko's are done now. Klitschko's are done, and, and so you're you're kind of like, well, you better fight. <laughs> I just think Joshua needs to do that. Like you can't. I just think as a Real boxing fans, they're not going to accept you fighting anyone else but Wilder, your next fight. Yeah, and I think fight. Joshua wins that. But All right, well, thank you for talking boxing. Oh, I know we got to please you a little bit. I know that's what yeah. you like to talk so about. So let's get into this NBA. Uh, your boy Lonzo Ball is back uh, from injury, and uh, it's been playing pretty well. I agree. Against you know pretty the bottom feeder teams. Oh, I mean, here we go. Here he did play against he did play against Portland <laughs> the other day and did not look good. But I always know there's he a killed it against Dallas. He killed it against. Uh, who, who they play last but night? But the Portland uh, game, the loss was on IT. T- IT missed the free throw first, and then IT got stripped. IT was five of twenty one that game. That loss was on IT. Yeah, I mean, I, he kind of wigged out. I think he was trying to match Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard, you ain't you ain't that kind of player, bro. Well, offensively, you ain't IT that, can do though, that. But he did not he not the injured IT. IT. Let's just not see the that. That's the thing. Exactly. Yeah, he's still not that's there what yet. People to understand when they talk about IT, this IT's not what he was in Boston. So that's not. I don't want to hear that conversation that IT's a great player he, right now. He's not that player. He's still, he's, he's hurt still. No. I'll give him that. But he's not that. So right now he's a shell of himself. Yeah, because you, you could tell he's still hurt because he's not going to the rack ever. He would get to the rack a lot. In yeah, he out there thinking he's Steph Curry with the with the shot. Yeah. Lonzo too though. Lonzo Lonzo out there shooting threes like it ain't no tomorrow either. But though. you know what? Lonzo's but I think Lonzo's a little hurt still too because ninety percent of his shots are just, just chucking up from threes. Like last night he shot with three of nine from he, three. It was three of nine yesterday. Three of nine from three and he took like eleven shots total. Yeah, yeah. So like everything's coming behind it the arc. Looks like he's shooting a lot of threes. But I like really like to touch on him. I really like the way he's been playing defense. He's really active everywhere. He's, he's long. He's, yeah. he's a big guard. He's really active. You know, it's it's not even necessarily him like being up and staying in front of a guy. It's him just 
getting deflections, getting the for, way, and for he the gets ball. a lot of yeah. blocked shots too. A he lot knows of how to jump passing lanes. He he reads the flight of the ball well, and mm-hmm. that, that's 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 a high. That's IQ part player. of being a defender. Yeah, yeah. So I, mean, I like that. I like how he's been playing. The Lakers but, overall I mean, have been playing well. Allen Iverson did lead the league in steals one year too. So I mean, <laughs> it's not crazy, you know. He's not a shut down, lockdown defender, but he's a he's a solid team defender for sure. There's not many of those in the NBA though. If you want to be honest, though, there's not many shut down, lockdown. No, defenders speaking of shut down, lockdown mm-hmm. defenders, there's a couple. Well, let's just talk about the 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 one who's rumored constantly, Paul George. Uh-huh. Uh, dude, OKC's sinking. They look bad. Now and now they're at the point where they just look tired of each other. Or it just doesn't. It just Mello look, is. Did you see that defensive play that everyone was showing yesterday? Where Mello just he started screaming, "Where the fuck is my help? Yeah. Like, what you mean with your help? That's a one-on-one play, bro. Like, you just got blown you by. You got beat by. I'm trying to work my help. Like, I don't. That's like a classic. Like, I think Mello me. next year goes wherever LeBron goes. For a real cheap deal. For a real cheap deal. Because he's made a lot of money in his career, right? ton of money. I agree. So it's, I can... it's not even on the court. It's just Jordan deal. He, he's probably making what, $25 million a year. And he's going to have to because I can see that because he's and he's going to have to be just become a spot-up three-point shooter. That's, That's all he's going to be. Grab a rebound. <laughs> Grab, on defense, you're right. Grab Dude, a rebound. Average 15 points a game and five rebounds and your your money. Yep. You sign for you know the, the veteran minimum or the or the what's the, the mid-level exception, eight million bucks. Like... You made. He's probably made two hundred million dollars. He's gonna have to because Bron said. Let's just say like Bron comes to Lakers. Lakers get two max players. They're gonna need to surround them with minimal players because they're not gonna have enough money. To so su- you think calls Mel like Mel look out? Look out. Hey man. Hey, come you, to L.A. You're my boy. Come to L.A. He's like, you're going to be in L.A. Well, I'm just saying, if it's the Lakers. Take the you're going to be in L.A., take a little bit. Melo, you just come off a hundred and whatever. One hundred twenty-five million. Yeah, contract. You good. You good. And that so, final year was in OKC where he didn't get taxed anything. Yeah. Let me touch it real quick. You said something about um, how rebounds and stuff. I, I read a stat. Brooke Lopez had 27 points oh last night. Oh, my God. He had zero, zero rebounds. rebounds. I couldn't believe that. He's a seven-footer. That's, that's the most well, you know what, though? ever. Like, some... I, I know it's crazy, but at, at the same time, I don't think it's that hard to believe anymore because... He stands at the three-point line. You're right. He stands at the three-point line. And then the times that he's in, under the basket... Everyone shoots three pointers, so the ball's coming off long rebounds. You're right. So, I mean, you're still seven feet. But exactly. Like, you you got to give it one. Sometimes two, one just falls three. In your hands like, if you're in the it. game long enough to score 27 points, you should be in the game to score. Yeah, because once in a while, one just falls in your hand. Just Especially by, you're, if you're just in the right feet, spot. Like, oh, here we go. I can. I promise you right now, Chris. You could give me whatever minutes you gave Brooke Lopez. You would have grabbed one in the NBA? I would have got one or two. You would have grabbed one. I promise you, Chris. I did grab a couple rebounds. Exactly. Five, I'm good for one or two rebounds. I promise oh, you, man. Chris. Yeah, that, he's the first player in NBA history. That can do that. That many points. Hey, speaking of last night, you know, everybody, oh, you know, I'm an Orlando Magic fan. Yeah. but um, Aaron Gordon's a baller. Oh, he's a baller, but we got robbed last night. The refs absolutely screwed us up there. Well, on that last play. They robbed I don't. Him. I mean, he had .6 seconds. Yeah. I don't think you guys would have done anything anyway, but, but Aaron Bo- it, hey, st- it still took away your, your Speaking of Aaron Gordon, it's good to see how he's developed. He's oh, developed yeah. a game. Like, when he first came in, he was like a defender, hustle guy. Looks like Blake Griffin. Yeah, like but now. The, but not like a baby. And he has a shot, though, too. He's, that three balls developed really good for him, so... Orlando, I think they just need to get a point guard, and they'll be all right. They'll be, they'll be good. Lakers looked good. Do you again. think LeBron's coming here to the L.A.? Did you see his list today? Yeah. The four? Lakers, Houston, Philly, and, and the Cavs. This is how I look at it like this. Philly makes the most sense. I agree. I think so, too. I just don't think. He could see himself doing that. Yeah, and I don't even like that roster for him, to be honest. Because I know. I know he po- needs shooters around yeah, him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, um. And ben Simmons not, won't even take a jump shot. He hasn't taken a three pointer, or he, he's taken two three pointers this, this year. His whole career. Yeah. And I, they and were talking. I think, they and broke they, it and down. They were like in the first high, like three games. And of the they season. broke it down. They said since high school, he's only taken like ten total three pointers since high school. He knows his game, man. He don't he's, shoot it. He's six ten. Yeah, he, I think he's, he everything's to, in the key for that guy. But he's also a guy. That looks like that needs to have the ball in his hands. I don't know how well he played without it with LeBron. And that's the thing too. Like unless they bring, unless Reddick comes back on a uh, a happy team friendly deal, and they get a bunch of guys to buy in and do that. Cause they they signed that other kid. Who's the other rookie? The the or not oh, the rookie, Marker. but no the the not the rookie. The the shooting guard though that they signed for that big contract. Oh, uh, with the Mohawk. I can't think of his yeah, name. Yeah, I was like, whoa, what what are you doing? Like you you know who's coming up in the free agency? You got Embiid and Simmons as your poster boys here. Like, give it a second, let it marinate. Maybe some guys look around and be like, damn, look at Philly. Like like look at Paul. Uh, Paul George went there. Uh-huh. Paul George would match perfectly in Philly. Uh-huh. He's a gunner. Uh-huh. Simmons gives the ball up. 
Yeah. When you got MB as your grab the boards, oh throw God. it in for the post. You're right. Paul, I mean, like, so, but now, like, if you do that, you know, it, you're gonna make it hard to sign guys. Especially now in the NBA, where all the money dried up, everyone thought they're gonna get another big salary bump, and they didn't. Uh huh. It didn't go up. So that first year, everyone overpaid, and now, oh hell yeah, and now everyone else has suffered for it. Think now. about Lou Williams signed for eight million bucks a year. Like Jordan Clarkson's awesome. still making more. more I mean, and Jordan Lou Clarkson could play and all. Don't yeah, get me wrong, right. but he's not good, better than Lou Williams. Correct. And Lou Williams is making what, Clarkson's making like twelve and a half million a year, and mm-hmm. Lou Williams signed eight million bucks a year. I thought Lou Williams would easily get like three years thirty. I thought so too. That sounds cheap too. Eight million bucks. Like they had to persuade him. Like, come on, stay. Like, we want you here, but we can't give you what you want. I think Take he's trying. I think at this point in his career, he's trying to move it around. Well, how many teams he's been on? Philly, Toronto, uh, Washington. I, remember, I was just gonna say Washington. Philly, Toronto, Washington. Um, it's only three, I think. The Lakers, four. Lakers, Clippers. Oh, Houston. Yeah, Houston. Now the Clippers. So it's like six. Six teams, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you get tired of that shit. Yeah. So I think he's tired of moving around. So he's like, whatever. I'll take your eight. I probably won't get much else out there. All right. Well, let's give it back to the Lakers real quick. So let's say, okay, give me your honest opinion. Do you think LeBron does come here? No. No. See, I, I do, but I don't want him to. Be, not And not because I don't want him to because of the LeBron-Kobe thing. I don't want him to come here because I want to see how our our young guys would develop. Develop. I like, think it just throws a Because, like, yeah, we can buy a championship like and it'd be fun fix. and we win, but you get more pride out of letting your guys grow organically. You let it marinate. And be like, oh, yeah, look, that's our guys that won that. Like, you know, they got to do it in Golden State. Then, oh, here comes. You talking about how they let Shaq grow organically? How that, how that happened? Or how they let Paul Gasol? You're talking about is that. What you're talking about, like those championship types. Or no, I'm talking, talking about that. Oh, oh I'm just saying you because the sure rest of the team was organic. I'm sure bro. you weren't cl- complaining it was just about those guys. It was just Powell. Oh, okay. Everyone else, Fisher, <laughs> Bynum, okay. Ariza, those are all homegrown guys. Oh, okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure you're gonna be equal on both sides if you go. I mean, well, you, everyone still signed somebody. You know, I'm just. I, would I just like don't to want to blow it. up our young core for for a bunch of superstars and. Let's say we do win one. Do they all stick around too? I mean, like LeBron's thirty, going to be thirty four going into the next season. Do they stick around and like stay long term, or because Paul George is twenty eight going on twenty nine, like their their windows closing too as mm-hmm. far as their prime goes, and then you're gonna be right back in the right I back in the all, shit in I three four it years. Really just depends on. I honestly don't think for one, I don't think LeBron's made up his mind yet. And I think it all just depends on how his team does. The crazy they... thing is, though, like people in the movie business, because he has his movie company and his, his all his closest friends work in the movie company, they're all saying constantly that no, he's he's here. In L.A. He's L.A. He's that coming. That would be good. LA. I want him to. But I, I mean, just don't think he had Houston. Uh, but if uh, he's coming to L.A., he he knows he has an uphill battle because the Lakers will be good with him. They'll make the playoffs for sure. They were close to making the playoffs this year, but. That's why I think, like, if say they go to the finals, right, and they like they battle, and it's like a close with Golden State. Maybe they take them six, possibly. I think he thinks like the Cavs might be where I stay. Like that's where I'm leading right now. I'm leading that towards him staying in Cleveland. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think he does. Though. I don't think that Cleveland team's that good. I just lean on him. I think he he might think they could make some moves or something. Because if we, we got to see how Kevin Love, how they look when Kevin Love gets back. Yeah, that's true, too. Because Kevin Everyone Love still hasn't Kevin played. Yeah, like, that's like, a big oh, yeah, Kevin that's Love's a big coming fact. back. It's a big fact. A perennial like, all-star on his yeah, way back. Yeah, so when Kevin Love comes but back. But who knows? That guy's a head case. And, you know, like, I know. Who's a head case? Kevin Love. Oh. You know, and I know he has a an issue, and, you know, I'm not judging anybody. I know it's tough for a lot of people, but you can't really depend on Kevin Love in the playoffs anymore. Because he's melted down a couple times. Where it just. No, nah, I don't. I don't I'm not, I'm not willing to say that. I don't. Well, I'm not willing to agree with it because that's like I think if you're going to say that, we can also say, well, I'm not going to trust James Harden because he hasn't done anything. In the well, playoffs. that's the thing too about these Houston Rockets. They're not going to. They're not going to play at the same pace going into this. It's not going to happen. You're right. So everything comes to a screeching halt in the playoffs. Big time. That's your and matter. now when the game slows down, you got Harden ball dominant. You got Chris Paul ball dominant. Right now it's fine because the ball is moving. Da, 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 but. Will, will, will it move the same way in the playoffs? I highly doubt it because every position is that much more critical. So you got to slow the game down. So how do they look with a slower pace? You know, is Harding going to go one-on-one with everybody? <laughs> so, I mean, I, I think I think Houston could... 
<laughs> I think a scenario with Houston could be like, damn, they just got rocked real quick. They got bounced down in five or six games Ooh. by, by, by OKC. Okay, the- no, nah, I, I don't think go. Okay, so I hope OKC okay, doesn't make the playoffs. I'd be so happy. Oh, because you just want everything to fall. Like I don't want. Do I, I honestly don't care if they get Paul George. I, I'm telling you, I like our core that much. But if they did, I mean, and I wouldn't even mind them signing back IT a one year ten million. I had told my friend that one yesterday. Million, one year ten million. I said like, if they don't get the two superstars, I think watch for IT to sign back on a one year cheap proven deal. Like and he's one year, ten million. Prove yeah, it. Try to kind of what Rondo out, did, but he, he, didn't, he didn't prove but it. Rondo just doesn't. There's certain skills he don't have. He's a scorer. He can't put any points in the basket. No, like he's an. Elite. What was that one that gave me this year? Like two points, twenty eight assists. Yeah, like he's an elite. <laughs> he's an elite passer, but he's like he doesn't give you. You don't scared of him at all. So no, that's why he's never going to be on that team. I feel like as a championship team, he was he was good on that team with those with the big three. Well, yeah, the three Hall of Famers exactly. But as him trying to be on a young team and be that one of the catalysts, nah, because he doesn't score enough for you. Is, is, is Anthony Davis? Shot. Haha, we've been to debate. Is he gonna be the best player in the NBA by next year? No, LeBron still got another two years, and oh, I think man, KD I think still got that crazy. after that. I still think I told you. I still think I would, I'd have. I'd rather take Demarcus Cousins over AD. No way. I still think AD's just too injury prone. I told you we talked about this. You said he wasn't. He's gotten hurt twice since I told you he was injury prone. He hasn't missed more than seventeen games. Yes, he season. has though. We've that's proven that he has. Oh no, yeah. You said that, but he has. When? But he has. Anthony Davis has definitely missed more than seventeen games. In well, the maybe season. the average is he hasn't missed more than seventeen games in the, in the season. He missed twenty something in one season. He's missed Anthony. Look, Davis. bottom line is. DeMarcus Cousins can't do what Anthony Davis is doing right now. Putting up 50 and 25 or freaking like Will Chamberlain numbers. Like, Cousins is not doing that. But Cousins is really freaking good. I'm like, I, he's a, a beast, but AD's the man, dude. AD, AD's a top five player. Maybe top three. Maybe top two. He got top. How, I'm not, not for me. I'm he not got number say, one under top. Under I don't think he's old. done it. I don't think he is. Um, yeah, he's definitely missed more than seventeen this season. Yeah, he's a, he played six. He's played sixty four. Then he played sixty seven. Then he played sixty eight. Then he played sixty one. Oh, that, that's then he that's played seventy five. Then he played. Now this so far this year he's played fifty eight. So like I told you, he's only played one season over 70 games. That's not rely- – if you're my superstar, I need you there more than – that's why his teams haven't been doing good. If you're missing – let's just say he hasn't even played 70. Yeah, if you're missing 13, 13 to 15, games. that's a lot of games. And if yeah. you're the best player, you're in, that's impact. That's like – you know what I mean? Yeah, you can that's go like 3 imp- and 12 on those exactly. rounds and then take like, that's, what I'm, that's what I might only beef with him. And I feel like it's consistently – he has he's getting hurt, a little nicked here, missing four games here, missing – I don't like – like I like LeBron don't miss nothing. KD, well, he don't miss nothing. Like, these guys, Curry had the problems early in his career. I hope Anthony Davis can rectify it because remember Curry was the same way with the yeah. ankle issues. Yeah. Ankles was killing They're him. They're actually considering for a while. Monte Ellis or... Curry. Yeah, Monte yeah, Ellis. yeah. So, like... I mean, the man's the right decision. That's how I look at Anthony Davis. Like, I don't... I hope he figures it out. I hope he. Get, I think I almost. I also think a lot of things with him is how he grew so quickly. Maybe yeah, his body's still out, trying to dude. catch up to that. Yeah, he was like a. It was a point he was guard. A, that's in why high he school. has the guard skills, and then he grew like six inches one summer or something like that. Yeah. So I think maybe that might have something to do with it. But I, I, he's nice. Don't get me wrong. He's really, really good. But I just feel like I, his injuries overlook everything for me. Yeah. All right. Um. What was I ask? Julius Randle. Man. Turn into a monster. Beast, right? Julius Randle trying to get that check. 20 he said, and, 20 Lakers, and 10 since he's been you a don't give me the check is cool. Somebody going to give me a check this 20 and 10 season. since being a starter. Balling. So they don't want to give me a check. He could have been doing this from the beginning, but they wanted to play little funny games with his salary structure and whatever it is. That's why they didn't start him. He should have been started from day one. They play games. Lakers could have had more W's. Yep. I'm just upset now because I see how good the Lakers are playing. And, like, it just makes me mad. Like, what if Lonzo didn't get injured? What if Ingram didn't get injured? Like, the things that could have happened. What if they happened. didn't make that trade? Yeah. What if they, like, if they were, because I, I think they would have been, I think they would have been closer if all that didn't happen. So they wouldn't have made the well, trade. Well, because right after they made the trade, they lost three in a row. Yeah. And it's not because they sucked it was just because now you got to learn how to play, play with yeah, correct. Nance was your best defender on yep. the team mm-hmm. Clarkson was your averaging 18 points a game off, off the bench, bench. Uh-huh. so now you're, you're he's gone and now you're you're, you're headed to New Orleans like that you're screwed you mm-hmm. know like you head into some pretty good games i mean they lost the Dallas game was the one they should have won that was the correct. first game with IT and IT actually played well in that uh-huh. game 
But, I mean... Yeah, I, I, Lakers are kind of exciting to watch. Yeah, they Surprising. are. I like watching them. I like right. to watch, I watch, watch their I, games. I think everyone like, slows down on the, when they beat the Spurs. I'm like, well, Aldridge and Kawhi didn't play both mm-hmm. times. So, yeah, the 38-year-old Pau Gasol out there trying to, like, hone it in for the Spurs. It's just not going to happen. So, but, like, they beat a lot of good teams, and they've lost to some teams they probably should have lost to. Oh, yeah. But I think, oh. like, next year, if they really stay healthy, even if, like... Well, they blew they, the lead, that, that late lead this year against the Clippers, where they were up by, like, nine, but Lou Williams went off with, like, four minutes left. Even... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even, even the other day against Portland. I was they were up say, 13 with five minutes left. I think Lakers are, like, a... Say, even if they don't get two suits, say they get one. Say they just They're get one Paul George. I think even with Paul George, they could make the five six seed next year. Oh, with Paul, definitely. It could because that means you're bringing Randall back, uh, probably, and you're probably re-signing it to come off your bench for ten million bucks. I like that another too. year because look the Blazo, it. another year developed of Ingram, another year developed of Randall, another year developed of Josh Hart, another year developed developed of all these guys. Kuzma, Zubac, Kuzma. Oh, yeah, hey, tell me about my boy Zubac though. Hey, Zubac, tell me about my boy Zubac. Why don't they let him? I don't know why you haven't been playing all season. Go free. That's why I said, why did you guys get Andrew Bogut? Zubac could do whatever Bogut trying to do. That's what I was do. saying the whole year. Zubac was balling. Now people last... tell me you're crazy. Zubac's I thought it was black. crazy. Like, no, Zubac was balling last year. Zubak was, was playing balling last year, yeah. so I didn't thought. I was thought that's why this season, like I was so confused. With I think the they Lakers. actually thought they couldn't make a playoff run. That's why I was just confused with the Lakers because last year I saw Zubak balling. Last year we know what Randall could do, and then this season I come in, I'm thinking Randall's gonna start, Zubak's gonna come off. I the thought Nance wasn't gonna play and really the, at exactly. all. Exactly, and now it's like totally flipped. I'm like, I remember I was like, they must have had something happen in practice that we don't know about because Grant only. Nance was starting. Randall coming off the bench. Zubox is getting zero bird. I was like, wow. Yeah. Zubox a good and player. Thomas Bryant. Yeah, Zubox is mean, a good player. And, and, I mean, I know it's only in the G League, but he's lighting it up. Zubox is. Yeah. Oh, no, Thomas oh, Bryant. In the G League, yeah. Tom, I didn't Thomas Bryant in the G League. I kind of remember him from 30. Indiana. Like, I remember him from Indiana. He was cool in college, I'm talking about. But I didn't know he could shoot like that. He had, he'd be shooting a three ball. Like, I didn't realize yeah, he, he had he, that game, that in his game. He lights it up in the G League, so. But, but uh, that's what you want to see when you send your NBA guys down there. You want to see them light it up. That's how it should be. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Like you said. You've like, been you, going to these games, right? Yeah. How's yeah. that been looking? I mean, it's fun. I, I, I go to see Thomas Bryant, and he never, he never disappoint. Not even that. Like, he might not have, like, the best shooting night sometimes, but his energy is just always crazy. How's um, Lil Peyton? Good, he's quiet. I mean, he, he stroked a little bit. But, Oregon I mean, State. He's good. I he's don't a lot. He's known for his defense, you know. So he's a locked out defender. I remember yeah, in college. So. so, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, but uh, let's close it out. Spring training baseball is going on. The Dodgers. Kershaw faced Otani the other day. Kershaw <laughs> Otani didn't, struggling. At the Kershaw, plate. Did, Kershaw didn't have anything nice to say about. He him. He said either. he didn't choose us. So, oh well. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> the meeting was a waste of our time. <laughs> oh yeah, <clears throat> I read the article today in the LA Times and. Oh, your Justin Turner said he flew in. Um, the other guy in. flew in, and they're like, it sounded like he already had made up his mind. Like, why do you even take a meeting with us? It was whack. They're all see like they're all bitter about it. Yeah, don't be bitter, Betty's, because he didn't choose you. I'm just glad he struck him out. But so we got some. Uh, but you know, March Madness is around the corner. That's next week. Started next week. Sunday they pick the brackets. Next Tuesday, actually, the tournament starts on You're Tuesday. You're going to drop some knowledge on everybody. Tell them, let them know how to bet and who to bet for. Yeah, we can do that next week, all day. So, All right, guys, that's our show uh, in the front row, in the front row.com. Catch us. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at C underscore Rod Sports LA. C underscore Rod Sports LA. Find me at Mr. Underscore D White on all the platforms. Um, check us out. Um, not only our podcast, but all the work that we do. Um, we be out there. Shereen be out there. All these high school events, um, yeah. different college events. Um, YouTube on our YouTube page. We got interviews from some of the top high school players, college players. We got some referee interviews and like yeah. different things. There's a lot of different things to check out. So check out the YouTube page in the front row. Subscribe. Every week we upload our podcast podcast on there we always got new videos we got people all across the country working for us that go to different events Damn writing right. different articles so yeah check out the website too in the front row.com that's where the articles are blogs everything holla at us see y'all next week peace right. out